it's funny to see when people point a finger and say, you, you, Ninen. <laughs> they always look at the sayings, if you point a finger to others, three fingers are pointing back at you. Before you open your mouth to point a finger at others, look into you three times and correct yourself with this finger vanishes. You don't even have to point a finger to others. <laughs> Such was the beauty of the saying when people go unconscious like Swami Vayana said, people are walking like dead bodies. <laughs> and this is another kind of dead body when you point a finger to others. They forget that before you point, the moment you feel a pointing finger to others, you start becoming conscious to look into you. And that is where you find a beautiful wealth of consciousness Wealth of energy and and when energy and consciousness is there, wealth of money follows you. A small, a small correction to be done. And you are powerful, you are known. Chinua Achibi, born on 16th November 1913, Ogidi, Nigeria. Died on 21st March 2013 in Boston in the United States of America, was a Nigerian novelist. Poet and critic who is regarded as the dominant figure of modern African literature. He is often refer referred to as the father of African literature, although he vigorously rejected the characterization. Chinua Chibi said, if you don't like someone's story, write your own. <laughs> it has got a correcting, connecting link to this one finger pointed. <laughs> They say, the master can point the way, it is for you to seek and find it. Otherwise, what happens? The finger pointed to the moon and all the students thought that finger is the moon. They took the finger, created an idol, created a picture and started doing puja, worship on the finger, thinking this is the moon. The moon is far away. Masters pointed the finger to the moon and said, there is the moon. You have to seek and find it. If you understand, if you are a little conscious and you become one time conscious and throughout your time you become very very conscious to penetrate so deep you always become a scuba diver you will find the pearls and pearls are there, it's up to you whether you want to enjoy the pearls or you want to take the pearls and make money out of that. Yes, the finger pointing to the moon, yes. If you don't like someone's story, yes, that is where if you don't like your teacher, why don't you become your teacher? They say put your feet in someone else's shoes, then you can know the reality means before you talk about others, in the classrooms, children always find they have not been able to understand what the teachers have taught. And one student of mine who has now got into an MNC company, he was telling, Guruji, simple tactic in the 10th standard, if you, you, you believe you can copy and pass, Finished, your life is finished. All my friends believed it is possible to copy and pass. And I stood and studied. And if you study what happened in the 10th standard in the high school, it is almost very easy in the PUC, the pre-university. And I got through, I entered into engineering, I got as job in an MNC. Yes, the first thing is very important but when others are copying, when others are pointing a finger and you start pointing a finger to others, lost. <laughs> a little consciousness of looking into you always. If you don't like someone's story, yes, if you don't like somebody speaking, what they have spoken or what they are speaking, just Look into you and try to find out whether if you were into in their place, if you were in their place, 
always try to find out what you can give back to Rakum school, what you can give back to society. Swami Rakum ji used to always tell all the students, yes, always you came for an admission into Rakum school and we have given A to his and everything without you asking. Now it is your duty to find out when you become senior what you can give back to Rakum school means what you can be give back to society what you can give back to your body to make your body a thousand man warrior it has got a power of a thousand man warrior and you do not step back you only move ahead to climb how much more you can climb instead of turning back to look how far you have climbed never turn back to look how far you have climbed but look ahead to find out how much more I can climb to help Rakum school to feed another thousand students. That is the strength of Rakum Shins. If you don't like someone's story, yes, if you don't like your relatives, write your own. When, when you find that your relatives are always cheating, they're coming to rob you, they don't they talk from behind, look into you, whether you are also doing the same. When you correct yourself, then even their talk doesn't matter. Their talk has got no value at all. Yes. In Rakum school also, we found the same thing. The own students, the own parents, the own neighbors always talk, keep pointing finger at us. Sometimes when they come and say, why this is dirty? I said, before you could say, why this is dirty? Why don't you participate? You don't, why don't you clean it up and help us? How to make it more better? Are not this, this service, this saver, meant for the total society? I alone? No, you also should participate. Instead of pointing a finger to us. Chinu Achipi said, if you don't like someone's story, write your own. Yes, if you don't like the poverty, if you don't like to see the pain in the society, why don't you work harder and bring in more money to clean up that mess? Yes, if you see a road is very bad, why don't you fill up the road? When you feel someone is very sick, why don't you build up your health so that you can wipe out more sickness by, by creating more gymnasiums than hospitals. Chinu Achibi said, if you don't like someone's story, write your own, write your own poetry. If you don't like somebody's poetry, if you don't like somebody's book, write your own. Why don't you write now? Why are you thinking it should be tomorrow? Even if you like or not, also write every day. Then you can understand, oh, your ability, your strength. You forgot to talk to you. Some even talk to you at least for 10 minutes every day. Talk to you, you say, and see the power. And everybody talks to them and they start writing poetry and writing their own story. Don't be a thing. You are going to become a big writer. Never mind. Keep writing writing whatever comes out and you can know it is a reality what you have found out and you can understand the truth you can feel smell taste touch and see the truth and when you feel smell taste touch and see the truth you are very close to the love and when you become the love love move mountains and oceans and that is where you find the god Chinu Achibi said, if you don't like someone's story, write your own. Write your own. I will help you to write.